Today we're talking about the 10 biggest mistakes that people make when checking their own blood pressure. If you want to truly trust the numbers you see on your home monitor, you have to understand how easy it is to get them wrong. But here's the problem. Most people don't realize that simple things like having your legs crossed during the reading, or even when you last had coffee, can change your readings by 10, 20, even up to 30 points. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you step by step through the 10 most common mistakes that I typically see patients make and how to fix them so you get the most accurate blood pressure readings every single time. I know this works because as a board certified practicing primary care physician, I've helped literally hundreds of people avoid unnecessary medications just by fixing the way they check their blood pressures at home. Mistake number one is using the cuff over clothing. If you slide a blood pressure cuff over a t-shirt or even a sweatshirt, you're automatically introducing a barrier. The cuff can't compress your artery in the way that it's supposed to, and it will naturally overestimate your blood pressure. This can add anywhere from five to 10 points on your systolic reading. That's honestly the difference between a good blood pressure reading of 126 and a borderline elevated, even stage one hypertension reading of 136. The quick fix to this is to always use your blood pressure cuff on bare skin. Roll up your sleeves or pick a short sleeve shirt so you don't even have to deal with them. So we started off with an easy one and the second one on this list, I'm literally going to the thing that is probably my biggest pet peeve when it comes to blood pressure monitoring. If you only take one thing away from this video, it is to throw away all your wrist cuffs and replace them with upper arm cuffs. Because wrist cuffs measure blood pressure that's lower down the arm, it's harder for the machine to actually pick up heartbeats which is how automatic blood pressure monitors get you the readings that they do. And this one's a biggie because it can falsely elevate your systolic blood pressure by up to 20 points. Now, wrist cuffs do kind of ballpark your blood pressure. So if it says your blood pressure is 200 over 100, your regular blood pressure probably isn't 120 over 80. But nevertheless, they tend to be extremely inaccurate. I know they're convenient and all, but honestly, if you want the most accurate numbers possible, possible, you really should invest in a good, high quality upper arm cuff. Now, if you're looking to get the best and most affordable blood pressure cuff on Amazon, because let's be honest, there's a lot of them out there that aren't, I put a link in the description of my favorite one and the one that I personally recommend to all my patients. Mistake number three is measuring your blood pressure while not having your arm at heart level. If your arm is hanging down while you're taking your blood pressure, gravity is in increasing the blood flow to the distal part or the part furthest away from your arm into your wrist and hands. This gravitational pull will artificially raise your readings about seven points. The quick fix to this is to rest your arm on a pillow or on an armrest of a chair, making sure that the cuff placement is about at the middle of your chest. Mistake number four is the wrong cuff size. Imagine trying to wear shoes that are way too small for you or even way too big. So if your blood pressure cuff is too small, and this will artificially raise your blood pressure numbers. If your cuff is too big, and this will artificially lower your numbers. The quick fix to this to make sure that your cuff actually fits you properly is that you wanna be able to get about two to three fingers under the edge of the cuff on your upper arm. Mistake number five is not adequately resting before you check your blood pressure. This one is actually very important and oftentimes overlooked. The definition of high blood pressure or hypertension is blood pressure that is elevated at rest. You're not supposed to measure your blood pressure after you've ran around your house three times chasing after your dog because of course in that instance your blood pressure will be high. In fact it is a normal physiologic response for blood pressures to be elevated during increased physical activity because the point is for the body to get more oxygen to the organs that need them. This one poses a lot of issues in doctor's offices in general, because let's be honest, how many times have you gone to the doctor and it's up three different flights of stairs, you're running late, you get there, you're all frantic, and then 
You try to make your way back. They sit you down and take your blood pressure immediately. Doing so, your blood pressure is definitely going to be elevated. Checking your blood pressure while you're not resting can raise your average numbers anywhere from five all the way up to 30 and probably a little bit higher than that. The quick fix to this is to make sure that you have rested from any physical activity for at least five, but better yet, 10 minutes. Mistake number six is checking your blood pressure while having a full bladder. This one seems kind of goofy, but it actually can make quite a big difference. If you're checking your blood pressure while your bladder is full, your body actually goes into fight or flight your heart rate increases a little bit and so does your blood pressure. Honestly, a full bladder can increase your overall blood pressure readings by up to about 10 points. The quick fix to this is to make sure you completely empty your bladder and wait five to 10 minutes in a rest filled state before checking your numbers. Mistake number seven is crossing your legs during the blood pressure reading. Now it feels completely natural to cross your legs, especially while sitting in a chair, but when you do this, you're actually squeezing the veins in your legs, which increases blood flow to the heart, ultimately raising your blood pressure. Doing this can increase your numbers by up to 10 points. The quick fix to this is to simply uncross your legs, but you want to sit upright with both feet flat on the floor. Mistake number eight, and yes, that rhymes, is checking your blood pressure after having coffee or nicotine. If you've had a cup of coffee or if you're a smoker and have had a cigarette, your blood vessels naturally constrict and your pressure goes up. This can falsely raise blood pressure by about 10 points. The quick fix to this is to wait at least one hour from your last cup of coffee and your last cigarette before you check your pressures. Mistake number nine is talking during your reading. Let's be honest. We as clinicians, we've all done this at some point. You're checking the patient's blood pressure and while the cuff is inflating, you look at them and say, so what uh, brings you in today? Honestly, even casual conversations while you're checking your blood pressure can raise numbers by about seven points. The quick fix to this is to stay quiet while the cuff is inflating as well as deflating and then you can go back to chatting. Mistake number 10 is only taking one blood pressure reading. We talked earlier that blood pressure isn't static. It's a dynamic thing that changes throughout the day. So if you only take one reading, you might actually catch an outlier. The quick fix to this is to take two different blood pressure readings about one minute apart. You then want to take the lower of those two numbers write it down and that's your blood pressure reading for that session. You wanna do this once in the morning and once in the evening for about a week and then take all of those numbers, average them, and that is your average blood pressure reading. Now, if you can't remember all 10 mistakes from today's video, that's totally fine. I put together a free resource going over all the important details from every single mistake and how to actually check your blood pressure to get the most accurate readings possible. And you can check out that resource completely for free in the link below. Measuring blood pressure accurately is extremely important, but how do you know which number, the top or the bottom, to actually focus on? I cover which of those two numbers are more dangerous in a previous video right here, and it's a great next step to take to truly understand your blood pressure numbers.